Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got a beautiful day today, a little bit of an onshore breeze. We're gonna go rescue the crab pots and throw out some baits. Hopefully we can get some fish and some lobsters. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo. So uh, because of all the storms and that, I'm expecting my pots to be lodged in the rocks and I'm hoping I can get all my strength back. I'm pretty sure I will be able to because uh, they usually get stuck in. First pot of the day. Come on. God, it feels like ages since I've been out doing the crab pots. Give us some Larry. a lovely solid male brown crab there that's going to be in that one i reckon so i'm going to stick it in the bucket that is solid you can tell by all the keel worms on it when you see crabs with these white sort of wiggly worms on they're called keel worms and they take a long time to grow so you know that's a solid crab nice first pot first crab happy days get it baited up That's a keeper lobster, that. And that second one's a monster. That's definitely a keeper. That's a big old girl, that one. You can see, that one's about 15 millimeters in. So two lobsters in the first string. Any more? It looks like this long soak definitely did it. So now we've got two lobsters and a brown crab. I'll get this baited up. Onto the next string, come on. good old deck wash comes in handy I'm gonna band them as I go so I can keep them in the same bucket and that there will keep them alive because I'm gonna be out for six hours see how many lobsters we can get that's two in one string spiny starfish these things go along the bottom eating all the clams scallops you see it's eating shells there drags it to the middle pulls the meat out nice onwards and upwards to the next string which is over there Close that one. So there we go. First lobster in the pot. And that one is out by a millimeter. Just a mil out. And it's legal the other side. Look at that. I'm gonna let it go. It's too close. Is there anything else mixed into the sea? Another lobster there, little one. the rest 
this seaweed. So I'll get this one baited up, we're on to the next ones. on a rodeo. Mullet as bait. I find mullets are absolutely brilliant lobster bait. I think it's because all the uh, scales and stuff, I think it's because they all fall off. It leaves a massive scent trail. Finally got this one free. Only took me 25 minutes. <laughs> Here it comes. Spider crabs are on their way. There's a couple of spiders in there. Oh, look at that. Not a bad spider, that. I'm going to keep that for now. Got another one there. It's a bit light, that crab, so I'm going to let it go. They are definitely moving in now. A bit on the small side that spider, but lovely to see. You always find with spider crab season, you get excited for the start of it, and then it gets about halfway through and then you're sick of them. <laughs> Keeper. No measuring that, big male. Look at that, beauty of a lobster that one. Just stick him on the floor for now. We've got another one here, we'll see if that one's a keeper as well. God, we're getting some lobsters today. That one is just out, just by a couple of millimeters. Lovely to see though. Look at that there, that's a, that's a lovely big lobster that one. Up and run for the next ones. Spiders. They're definitely turning up in force, these things. We've anchored up now, guys. Or oh, should I say, I grabbed my string of pots. And what I've got, I've got a float rod with me and a bottom rod, so. What I'm going to do is 
chop and change between them or even chuck both out and uh, see if we can get any bass, garfish, pollock, anything really. It's a little bit of a mix up. I'm actually pretty hungry. I brought the cooker with me today just because I knew we were going to be sat stationary fishing so I thought I'd do a little catch and cook. So I've got our lobster here. I've got the smallest one out of here because uh, my, my little pot is tiny. So I'm going to dispatch it and then we're going to boil up a nice lobster. I may even do the brown crab as well and then we can uh, enjoy a nice bit of seafood while we're out fishing. Beautiful day. It's absolutely amazing. As always, there's a cross on the top of the head there. You go in and then down towards the head and that dispatches the lobster. So there you go, guys. That lobster's dispatched now. All we've got to do is wait for our water to get on a rolling boil. We'll cook this bad boy up. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna dispatch this as well. Underneath the carapace here, where the uh, apron is, you go straight into there, give it a wiggle, and then this will be completely lifeless. And it's as quick as that. See that completely lifeless crab now? Lovely job, let's get these cooked. I'm gonna let the spider crab go today. Just cause my first spider crab of the year, I wanna eat a really big one. So uh, I'm gonna let that go. And then I got a couple of lobsters there for family. Beautiful, got a nice old treat. Brown crab and lobster cooked on the boat. The first catch and cook on the boat, baby. Delicious, hopefully the fish turn up. I've dismantled the crab and the lobster just so I can get it all in the pot. So we've got a nice bit of lobster tail there. We've got a nice big claw. We've got some shanker as well. Delicious. Can't wait to cook this up, you can't beat it. Fishing, eating fish while we're sailing on the boat. I like it. Just gonna add some Old Bay for a bit of seasoning. Get that water all nice and flavoured up, baby. Delicious. Our water's on a nice rolling boil there. So I'm gonna do is just pop our crab in and chuck our lobster tail in. Look at that. Still twitching. <laughs> Beautiful. So we get that cooked up, let's eat our delicious meal. That is smelling absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, fresh lobster and crab on the boat, baby. That beautiful red bit of lobster tail there. Oh, that's hot. I forgot to take the rubber band off that. <laughs> it's all good though. Lovely bit of crab. Just give the crab a little bit longer. And we're snacking our lovely bit of lobster. Here's our lovely bit of crab. Check that out. Can't be forgetting the claws. It's a nice old seafood meal on the boat. Check that out. What a beast. Lovely job. Got baits out, floats out. Gonna enjoy some lovely seafood. I'll tell you what, that crab boil doesn't have doesn't have smell good. Lovely fresh lobster, only caught about 40 minutes ago. Whoa. You don't get any fresher than that. Oh, that's so tasty. Get a nice little bit of spice from the um, from the seasoning as well. It's delicious.
Oh, oh that's so tasty. I just realised I've got nothing to pick this crab with. <laughs> Picking my crab with a pair of scissors today. Mm. It's not my, uh, definitely not my favourite crab, brown crab. I enjoy it, but uh, I don't think it's as good as spider crab. Not at all. If you prefer it, leave it in the comments, guys. I'd be interested to know. I very much like the sweetness from spider crab. Nice. definitely wasn't prepared for this today. I didn't actually think I was going to do a catch and cook. I was going to leave, I was going to leave the cooker on till tomorrow, but there we go. You got to get hungry, so, get hungry sometimes. It's low tide, so I can't get to my mooring. So you got to eat what you got to eat. Mm. I miss this, doing the old catch and cooks out on the boat. You just can't beat it. Out here, we've got rods out, seafood. This is the life, this really is the life. And I'm very grateful for the life that I've got, that's for sure. There you go, lovely bit of lobster claw. We've had zero bites on the rods. Absolutely nothing, not even a tap. It's quite interesting. I'm anchored straight over a big reef at the moment. I expected us to catch wrasse and bass and stuff like that, but we've peered a crab as well. Here's what it is, just shows. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I'm gonna sit here and just pick at this crab and this lobster, and then if I see any fish, I'll stick the camera on, but if not, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. There's going to be plenty more to come. Got big plans. All I need to do is get them in process. So stay tuned. If you, uh, if you want any merch, the link's in the description. I'm forgetting everything because the float's looking a bit dodgy at the moment. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo!